All right, welcome to ETN News. We just had a 6.6, .6, and this is around the beginning of the Cascadia subduction zone. And remember yesterday, we was looking for a couple sixes. Right here's a 6.6, .6, and we should have another one soon, somewhere around the Ring of Fire. But anyway, 6.6. .6. Well, I guess we just had our other six. Watch for more. This is, you know, around the Cascadia. Let's go take a look at that. That's something that just popped up. Okay, one six point six, six point four, and you can see right here it's on the Cascadia. And you know, like I was saying before, if we didn't see these quakes building at the Cascadia. How do they happen and start at the Cascadia? So when we're looking for 6.0 or greater any time, we start looking through here first because right here is where our buildup is at before it releases. This right here is proof. 6.4 on the lower one and a 6.6 .6 on the upper one. This is the beginning of the Cascadia coming down through here. Very dangerous. You never know, we could have that big quake today. Always be prepared. And now we have three tsunami stations in event mode. Three of those. Watch for high waves or a tsunami. This is not looking good. We could have, like I said, we could have the final slip today. You never know. And no one could see up and under these plates to know exactly what's going on. All we can do is see... The large activity coming a few days before it hits. And they're not showing anything on the tsunami. That you should see the 6.6. .6. That one says 7 miles deep. That's a little bit different than what the other one said. I think the other one was 6.7 .7 miles deep. Right here is their uh, tsunami or high waves. They may not be reporting it because it's like a storm, like a hurricane. They only call it a category one or two. It's got to be at a certain speed, just the same as it is with the tsunamis. So it could be right at the edge of a tsunami and still be just be a tsunami to me. So be prepared for this. Okay, now on the buoys, we won't see the effects until it goes down to see what it's causing. So... Like I said, be prepared now. We don't need to wait and see what it's causing hours later. It only updates every few minutes, and it would take hours to see anything, really. And right here, you can see that drop. That's on the next one, and then we got... Let me see which one this is. Okay, those are strike. And there's a strike on that one. And just to let you know real quick, I do 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 the hot spots still yet, but I can't put them out there because we got so much earthquake activity. And if I put one earthquake, I mean this out there, and we have an earthquake around the Cascadia, they won't send out notifications. It's too close. This one here was done day before yesterday, but I never even got it to put it out there. All right, I'll see you on the next updates. Everybody be safe and be prepared for those earthquakes and tsunami high waves on the Cascadia subduction zone. See you next time.